everybody. <laughs> she just said my name like three times, but I'm gonna say it one more time. My name's Micaela Aida Galvis Venegas, also known as Mika. Um, both my parents are formerly incarcerated, so I grew up seeing the world through the filter of their lived experiences in a society of multi-layered oppression. <sighs> oh, sorry. I knew that meant they were a lot more vulnerable to police harassment or brutality. Thankfully, I grew up with my dad telling me stories of the Black Panthers and Young Lords who fought against police brutality and injustices in their community. The only problem with growing up with this knowledge was that I knew that police brutality was a reality for black and brown people. I grew up with constant fear for my parents and not having an outlet for it. Going to middle school in Marin County, that's predominantly wealthy white people who were oblivious of their privilege. My peers didn't understand the feelings that I dealt with, so I felt lonely a lot of the time. Finally, I moved to high school for, moved to Oakland for high school, where I met other youth who had the same family situations as me, or were able to understand it better. Through meeting other youth with these problems, I also met youth who weren't paralyzed by the fear but were standing up and fighting against the systems of oppression. I decided I wanted to do the same and found an outlet for the fear I had been living in and found an empowering community to be a part of. Youth-led social justice became my passion, so when I heard about Standing Rock and how it had started off by youth of the Sioux tribe, I was instantly drawn to it. So there should be a clip. support uh, folks that are protecting water. I'm here to protect water for future generations, and I'm here to exercise sovereignty with the Standing Rock Nation that has reclaimed uh, this brand new winter camp um, to continue the fight to, end, to kill the black snake, to end DAPL, the Dakota Access Pipeline. We're going to shut that down. When I was at Standing Rock, I fell in love with the unity I saw and felt. You could feel the sense of community just being there. It was so beautiful to see everybody coming together to fight against the injustice that was going on. After being at Standing Rock, I was really motivated to come back and bring that unity to Oakland. I wanted the people in my community to unify and fight against the police terrorism that we are constantly victims of. With working through courage, I work with other youth to build the same unity I had seen at Standing Rock and have been doing outreach to bring more people into our community of resistance. I want to continue building this community to be able to create a larger impact in the systems we are oppressed by. I know that this struggle isn't going to be completely fixed in my lifetime, but now I have the hope that I, with the unity I hope to build that we can accomplish a lot. Emotionally, it's given me more of a purpose to continue fighting and a hope I didn't have before that one day these ra racist, sexist systems will no longer be in place. That's why I'm here today. That's why I'm grateful to be here today with, these, with intergenerational and intersectional mujeres with the same dream as me to create a more equitable society.